Let's say, for instance, you are given, uh, let's check this number one, x minus four, um, equal to, let's say, 10. Okay. Now, so using additive inverse to solve an equation. So, you will have x minus four. Now, remember the inverse of minus 4 is plus 4 so you don't want this minus 4 in your left hand side of the equal sign <clears throat> so you want to take everything that is not x or doesn't have a variable to the other side of the equal sign so here in this case if we don't want minus 4 it means we must introduce plus 4 so plus 4 is the inverse of minus 4. So this side you still have a minus plus 10. Okay. So now what you do on the left of the equal sign you must also do on the right of the equal sign. So on my left we added 4. So on my right we must also add 4. Alright. So minus 4 plus 4, these are the same same number but with different signs okay so they're gonna minus each other so this part alone is gonna be zero okay so it means you're left with x there only so it means x is therefore equal to 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 okay. so therefore x is equal to 14 there okay so you check now if this is really true. If x is 14, you take this value of x. So how do you check now? So I'm just going to write that in detail for the first one. So this is my left hand side. So my left hand side is x minus 4. Okay. And my right hand side is 10. Okay. So if x is 14, x is 14 all right now 14 minus 4 it gives me give me 10 okay so that in red gives me 10 so that is same as the right hand side so it means our value of x here was correct if x is 14 then 14 minus 4 it gives us 10 so it means always, always, the equations will always be balanced. What you have of the, on your left hand side of the equal sign will always be equal to whatever that is on your right hand side of the equal sign. All right, let me, let's take another example then. Let's take another example. Let's see now. Okay. So if instead of x minus 4, now you have x plus 4 equal to 10. Right. So what are you going to do here? So you're going to have x plus 4. Now you have plus 4, so you're going to introduce minus 4. Right? Equal to 10. Okay. So again, this part is going to be equal to 0. Because it's plus 4 minus 4, which is 0. So when you drop x, you're going to have, therefore, x is equal to 10. All right? Now, you minus 4 this side, so it means you must minus 4 this side as well. Okay? Don't forget that. And then, uh, just write that, this step here change step so x 10 plus and uh, 10 minus 4 is 6 so your x is equal to 6 so if x is equal to 6 so it's going to be 6 plus 4 which is 10 